Hello everybody, welcome to Gamble with Jimmy. I'm going to show you how I make $5,000 a week playing craps. This is just one of my good strategies. I call this one the dark hop. We're going to start off with $100 on the don't pass bar. We always try to protect it with a 6143 hop. Now what I'm doing on this strategy is I'm hopping each individual number. So I just hit the 325 hop. That's a one time bet. I had the 32 and I had the 41. The 41 loses. The 32 hits. $5 pays 15 to 1, which is $75. Now what I'm doing is I'm using the don't pass as a hedge to reimburse myself on a lot of the losses that I get. So for example, I just lost trying to hop the six and I made $100. So now I'll open up. Every time you see me put a bet on the come, it's not the come bet. I'm just showing you that I'm hopping the six one and the four three for $5 each. Sometimes I'll increase it to $10 each. So I'll lose that bet. Now I'm coming in on the six, the six hop, which is the four two and the five one. And we failed, but we hit the seven, so we make another hundred dollars. So every time I will protect on the come out, my don't pass. And I don't really care about the money that I lose on the come out hops. It pays for itself. All I have to do is save one or two in the whole session, and it totally pays for itself. So we finally hit the six hop, we hit the five one and it pays $75 profit. So I don't play like everybody else. Um, I have my own ways of playing, uh, which is why um, I created the Jimmy. If you haven't seen the Jimmy, uh, look. make sure when you do look at the Jimmy, make sure you go by the modified, the modified Jimmy. There's two of them. Okay, we hit the eight hop here, and we get another 75. So I want to clarify something really quick. To, uh, I had one person say that I stole, <laughs> I stole the strategy, which is ridiculous. Um, I needed to, to focus on a strategy that fits me. I don't know why I hopped the four there. That didn't make any sense for me to hop. I know I haven't seen a four in a while, but don't hop the fours and tens. That's, that's kind of foolish. Um, so I personally needed to make a strategy that fits me so what fits me is i'm a hop better uh i i count dice and i base my hops on you know typically counting here i'm okay because i have a hedge on this particular strategy so the 410 so let me let me explain something to you about when somebody tries to claim that they created a strategy any intelligent person who plays craps every single day for a living is going to think of every possible way that you can play this game. The only person that's inventing anything is the person who invented craps. That's the only person. There's only so many ways you can play. You, you, you can hedge on a lay. You can hedge with the don't pass bar. You can hedge with the DC. So, you know, <laughs> the 4 and 10 are one of the best bets that you can do. Um, so it's just common sense that I would play a 410. So I incorporated the 410 and I needed a hedge. Um, so I used the don't pass bar in the DC, which is the only way I personally would hedge other than hopping the seven. So because I'm a hop better in the Jimmy, I had to incorporate come out hops and I had to incorporate hops in the middle of the session, like what you see me doing here. I'm hopping the sixes now. That is the way that I play. Everybody plays different. I do not play um, box, number, box numbers anymore. Now, I will show strategies with them because I know a lot of you do play them. So it doesn't mean that you can't be successful playing, hop, uh, playing regular box numbers. 
Okay, so we're going to lose that 50 on the 6. So for me personally, the Jimmy is a perfect fit for the way that I play. So that's why I incorporated in and did certain things in that strategy. The original Jimmy did not include my hot bets throughout the session, which is, which is not fitting for me, which is why I did a modified uh, the Jimmy strategy. So you guys can check out the Jimmy, the modified version. Okay, so we're going back to where we're still determined to hit that six. But every time we fail, we keep making $100 on that don't pass bar. So that's why I really like the dark hop. It's a good strategy. Okay, so that come out, see, see right there. Now what I normally do is I'll do $10 on each number, the six, one, and the four, three. So that really should have been 150 because I like to make a profit more than what I lose. And if I only do $5 each, I'm still losing a little bit of money. And all you got to do is hit one hot bet on that come out to justify doing it. One time covers um, 10 come outs, hops, 10 come out hops, one time successful. So it's a no brainer to me. Okay, so I so here I'm going up more. I have ten dollars each on the three two, the four one, and the two nines. So if I hit one of those, I'll get a hundred and fifty dollars. I'm gonna lose uh, forty bucks there. And I keep firing. Now I'm at fifteen each. Okay, we're going to lose 60 there. So a lot of people, they're too early to judge. And they see something and then they either immediately make a comment or think negatively. So patient people, um, in my opinion, are, are more intelligent people. Should always be patient to see things. And... So we're going to lose there 200. We get 100 back. So we lose 100 there plus all the other losses. But just keep just keep watching. You'll see. You'll see there's there's a uh, intelligence behind my madness. So that's another time that we should have won 150 and we only won 75. So we actually lost a quarter um about $30 there. So I usually you know, like to do 10 and 10. Now, I went up on my don't pass. I'm going bigger on my protection. And you want a 6, 1, or 4, 3 there because you get $375 and only lose 200 Okay, so here's where you'll see why I do what I do. Just pay attention. Okay, so that's not the big hit. That's not the big hit. That's the small one. Okay, that's just a normal, normal one that pays three hundred seventy-five dollars on um, the the three-two on twenty-five dollars. You guys will see in the session what happens here. Now, um, I think only one time I increased my don't pass. On this type of strategy, I increase the don't pass when I'm losing a lot of hops. So if I've lost like two, three, four hundred dollars in chasing hops, I'll increase my don't pass. Okay, so I'm going for 150 hit here on the six. Okay. Okay, now I'm going for. Another one, okay. We've been hitting a lot of fives. A lot of times I'll, I'll, I'll like to do two hops at the same time. 
Okay, so that's that's a good one. So we're getting all of that money back. We're getting it all back. Why would I want to put a quarter on a six or $30 on a six to make $35? Why would I want to do that? Okay. So we're going to lose that come out um, for the hot bets, the, the, uh, the hedge. Okay, so we're, we, because we won the 200 on the don't, I just started back at the beginning again. That's all. So money management is very important. For all you guys that are watching, um, I have not lost in craps in over a year. Um, and it seems that that's becoming the same way for me with roulette now. I've pretty much mastered roulette as well. So yeah, craps, craps in my opinion, be, you know, what helps me is when I buy in is for 10,000 in this particular buy in, um, on this, on this practice session is, is 4,000, 4,000 buy in. But, um, for all of you people that are out there that think that the casino has the advantage, how come I've played every single day for a year straight and I haven't, I haven't even lost. So is, does that mean that the casino has the advantage or are you just playing wrong? And I'm not bragging. I'm trying to encourage you people and let you know it can be done. Okay. I'm okay. I think, I think is, this is where we hit a good one for, um, I think we hit a good one here for 750. Now we would have hit it for 1125 had we not hit it here. So we hit the 53 here cuz I was going to keep going up. We would even got to the 100 and 200 dollar level per hop, which is the cap which would pay $3,000. It's just the way that I play, guys. That's just how I play. What I probably would have done is when I got to the $100 level, I would have stopped and then I would have waited for that don't pass the finish. And then I would have probably put like $1,000 on the don't pass. And I would have started going up on my hot bets on that six and eight. That's what I would have done. But you have to also keep in mind too that everything is based on how you play based on how much you've won in your uh, career against the casino. Um, you know, so for someone like me, in craps alone, I, I typically in gambling alone uh, average 350 a year. Uh, but from craps, I would probably say, mm, I've been doing a lot of really good in roulette re lately. And um, so I think it just depends on which one I put more effort to. So we spiked the six finally. That's going to give us 150 and we lose 10, $10. Yeah, I made a, a video earlier about um, subscribers um, sending me uh, strategies. So any of you subscribers out there that would like me to um, film and have your s strategy on one of the sessions, uh, I'll mention your name and, and who gave me this, the strategy, but make sure you put it in the comments. So here again, we lose on our hop nine, but we win a hundred bucks. So we did really well with the don't pass. You know, I don't think we got picked off one time on that don't pass, which is pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. Okay, so we started with 4,000. But anyway, send me a comment um, with the uh, instructions. All right, so there's our 4,000 right there. And this is all profit. So that's 30... I think we got 700 in black, so eight, nine, uh, $955. $955 in like 15 minutes. 
So yes, $5,000 a week is very simple. It's very simple. Okay, guys, give me a like and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, we'd love to have you aboard the channel. Uh, thank you guys so much for your loyalty. I uh, appreciate each and every one of you guys. And I will see you on the next one. Have a great day, guys.